Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm in the cathedral this week. I haven't been here for a couple of weeks, but here I am back in the kids area. And it's good to see that you're here with me. And I've got some coloured bits of paper. And I think I'm going to have some of this purple bit. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut a shape out of it. See if you can guess what shape I'm cutting. I'm doing a line up there and I'm going to loop the line round here and down there. Can you guess what shape this is? It's a heart shape. And that's a fairly big heart. And I'm going to fold the paper in half again. And where the fold is, I'm going to cut again. And I'm doing the same shape round like that. But this time, it's a little heart. And I cut two of them. And I think I might have... What would go with purple? I think some orange would go. I'm going to cut some orange hearts out too. So I'm folding once and then I'm folding twice and I'm going to do the same thing again. Cut up there, do a loop round there and down to there. And this time I've got another big heart. Two big hearts. Then I think some green would look good as well. So I'm going to fold the green in half and in half again and I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to do now this is a bit of a different shape heart it's got a bigger V in the middle and there's two of those and then I'm going to do another one here and because I folded it four times there will be two of these ones too what shall I do with my hearts? I think I could take these ones and I could make them into a shape like a flower. And then perhaps I could use a stick that's there and put it there. And I could put the green one on like there and it looks as if it's got some leaves. So that's a flower shape. What else could I do? that way up and then I could put one there and then I could cut a circle out like this out of my paper and I could make a person with a head, a body and some legs. There's lots of things we could make with hearts but why have I chosen a heart shape this week? Can you think why? What do hearts mean? We use hearts to be a sign of love. And when we give somebody a heart-shaped thing, it means we love them. So who do you love? Who would you like to give a heart to? Because on Tuesday, it's Valentine's Day. And that's when we tell people special that we love them or give them cards with hearts on. You may love your mum and your dad or your brothers and sisters or your nan and your pop. Or you may have a special friend or it may just be somebody you really like a lot. And those are we people that we know and we love. But in the Gospel reading this morning, and in the first reading from the Old Testament, we hear about God and Jesus talking about loving everybody, loving strangers, loving people we don't know. So what does that mean, do you think? Right, that means we need to care for everybody, not just people like us not just our family and our friends, we have to remember that everybody and everything matters. And God and Jesus want us to love everyone and be good to everyone. That's a pretty hard job, isn't it? And that's why we have to do it together. Do you think you're up to that job? I think we are, if we do it together with God's help. So my challenge for you this week is to practice making some heart shapes and seeing what you could make with your heart shapes. You might be able to make a motorbike out of heart shapes or perhaps you might want to build a heart shape house. And of course
course you can cut out other shapes and you can use your pencils and your texas to draw things. You can make some pretty exciting pictures with hearts if you tried. I'm going to say bye now. I'll see you later. You keep safe. Bye.